Here's how to generate ultra-viral 3D animated stories with a single prompt and 100% free, unlimited, legal image, video, and audio AIs. In the first minutes, you'll get my prompt, the one I built after months of trial and error, the exact tools, and the step-by-step -step to turn text into cinematic clips with voice. Plus, several secrets I'll drop along the way, so you squeeze every bit of potential out of this workflow. This works for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or any platform. And it's perfect for brand content, product showcases, and any story you want to tell. From now on, paying for useless tools is over. As a thank you to everyone who supports the channel, the Discord linked in the description has today's prompt and direct links to every tool, so you don't waste time. And at the end, I'll explain how to get a free PDF with the best AIs and extra secrets we don't share on YouTube, safely through our Discord. If you scroll social media, you've seen channels pulling hundreds of thousands of views by telling stories. Many people assume those channels have big teams, but the truth is a lot of them are solo creators who simply know the right tools. If you're starting a new project and don't want to pay for expensive software, this video is for you. I'm giving you the most powerful, free, and unlimited tools available right now, so anyone from anywhere can make the content they want. We'll go through the whole process together. First up is the AI where we use my prompt to create the structure of your video. So keep the prompt from Discord handy. You can use the free text version of any AI. I'll leave links to ChatGPT, Gemini, and Google AI Studio, because they're great for this. Later, I'll show you lesser known options to generate images and video for free and without limits. So stay with me. Once you're in your chosen AI, paste the prompt. Before you hit send, set a few fields so the result lands exactly where you want. Theme can be a specific idea or random if you want a fresh, eye-catching story with strong retention without brainstorming every time. Duration uses minutes by default, so the same method works for horizontal or vertical projects. For vertical, set 1 minute or switch to seconds and set 30 seconds. And for the example, I'll leave a 5-minute horizontal video. Aspect ratio is 16 to 9 for horizontal YouTube long form, or 9 to 16 for vertical shorts like TikTok and Reels. Language can be English or anything you need. Clip seconds target should stay as is, unless you want to tweak pacing. Style tone sets how it should feel. Epic, mysterious, dark fantasy. The default epic keeps attention high, but choose what fits your story. Age rating and visual engine can stay on defaults for striking results, or you can pick what you prefer. With those set, send the prompt. The AI will reply with a scene number and duration, then the voice style line that will play during the clip followed by the image prompt we'll use, which will then animate into video with the next prompt. Each clip includes the narration line and the visual direction, so you have a clear, simple plan to create the images and videos while this narration plays. I'll show you how to turn those lines into voices and then combine them with the clips to build the final video. Next, we generate images from those prompts. There are multiple free, unlimited options. I'll bring the best. First is Nano Banana. Open Google AI Studio. Follow my steps, click into the interface, and hop into Nano Banana. Pick your aspect ratio for vertical or horizontal content and start pasting prompts. The big advantage here is consistency. By generating everything in the same chat, it maintains a cohesive look. Same color palette, design language, and overall style, so your sequence looks unified. The catch is that downloads include a watermark. I'll leave you in Discord the most free, unlimited tool to remove it easily. If you'd rather avoid this step, my favorite image tool, and the one we'll also use to transform images into video, is Meta's AI. We've covered it a lot on the channel, but here's how to maximize it for this workflow. Sign in to Meta and do not start a new random chat because it applies looser settings there. Click Create to access more precise controls. Choose Image, not Video. Trust me, this matters. Select your aspect ratio, 16 to 9 for horizontal, 9 to 16 for vertical. Then set Aesthetics. I recommend variety around 60, so each image has options. Weirdness at zero and stylization at 500. Those numbers come from a lot of testing, but feel free to experiment for your own taste. In the world of AI, it's super common to find an amazing tool that could solve all your problems, and when you're ready to use it, boom. A giant message says it's not available in your country. Or you find the perfect product, but it's more expensive where you live, or the site won't even let you in. That hurts. Today, I'm bringing you the solution because I'm working with Data Impulse to fix all of this. So, what is Data Impulse? 
It's a service that lets us change our proxy so we can browse as if we were in another country. Simple, fast, and without paying for things we don't need. The best thing is that you only pay for what you use. You might be thinking, okay, so is this like a VPN? Not exactly. A VPN is fine for basic browsing, but it struggles when you need multiple real IPs to do things like web scraping, collecting data at scale, monitoring prices automatically, testing SEO results from different regions, or checking how ads are delivered. That's where proxies shine, and Data Impulse makes it super easy. Data Impulse is a proxy platform with more than 90 million IPs in 195 countries, letting you connect almost anywhere. If an AI is only available in the United States, you connect there. If you want different prices in Europe, you connect to Europe instantly. No blocks, no restrictions. Let me show you how to use it. Inside Residential Proxy, you'll see your login, password, proxy host, and proxy port. We'll use these in a moment. Then in Proxy Configuration, click Target Filters and choose your country. I'll pick the United States. You can keep it general or pick a specific state. Now set rotation to 120. Enable the anonymous filter, choose Sticky, and use HTTP slash HTTPS. Press Save. Now let's use it. Download the Foxy Proxy extension from the Discord linked in the description. Open it, go to Options, then Proxies, and fill in the title, HTTP type, the hostname and port you saw earlier, and your username and password from Data Impulse. These two are personal, so don't share them. Then press Save. Back in Google, open Foxy Proxy. Select the proxy you just created. And boom! You're now connected. If you go to iPapii, you'll see the US location we set. You can even access AIs like Sora that are only available in the United States. And beyond that, you can automate things like tracking price changes across regions, scraping product information, checking search results from multiple cities, or testing how ads are shown. It's crazy powerful. Data Impulse also offers rotating and sticky sessions up to 120 minutes, pay as you go with no expiration, so you only pay for what you use, and real human support 24 7. They don't resell proxies, the network is their own, so it's genuinely fast. The link to try it is in the description and pinned comment. Paste your prompts, it will generate several candidates per prompt, so you can pick your favorite each time. Between NanoBanana and Meta, you'll quickly build a full set of images that match the script we created earlier. Before animating, remove any watermarks. You can generate directly in Meta to avoid them, or use NanoBanana plus the removal tool I'm sharing in the description. With your images ready, it's time to animate. In Meta, click the image you like and select Custom Animate. In Describe Your Animation, paste the animation prompt produced earlier by the text AI. Remember, each scene block included the narration line, the image prompt, and the animation prompt. Let Meta build the motion. If you like it, move on to the next. If you don't, this tool is free and unlimited, so regenerate until it hits exactly what you want. I've tested a lot of image-to-video and video generation AIs, and after using Meta repeatedly for video content, stock, and my own sequences, it's the best by far. In my experience, it's had no practical limits, quality is consistently high, and you can regenerate as much as you need. Use it with confidence. Now you have your sequence of finished video clips saved in order. Next, we need voices. There are several text-to-speech tools. We've covered many on the channel. There are paid options that are excellent, like Eleven Labs or Minimax, and I'll link them in Discord. But the best free, unlimited option, and what we came for today, is Google Text-to-Speech. It can be tricky to find, so as always, I'm leaving the direct link in Discord. Here's how to use it with the voice tone field we set earlier in the script. In Google's audio tool, go to Single Speaker Audio. You'll see a place to choose Voice Style, a text field for the narration, and on the right, you can pick the voice and voice tone. Test a few until you get the one that fits your story. Ready to build something awesome? Got a project in mind? What do you want to explore? Then make sure you set the style instruction we generated earlier so the delivery matches the intended tone. 
Paste each scene's line from the script. You can generate them one by one or paste all lines and batch them. Use whatever is faster for you. If you want multiple voices in the narration, I recommend staying in single speaker audio and switching voices per line because multi-speaker audio doesn't perform as well and caps out at two voices. Once you've exported your full narration or individual voice clips per line, you have everything you need. The night feels dead, yet something moves beneath the city's silence. Your finished animated clips and a script accurate voice track designed to hold attention and boost your odds of going viral. Time to edit. To edit, I'm bringing you a tool that works on both computer and phone, so everyone can cut without issues. We'll use CapCut, which I'll also link directly in the Discord in the description. Download it and you'll find a straightforward standard editor. Keep the tab with our generated text open so you can see each narration line and its matching clip, and keep the editor open beside it. Paste the narration into your timeline, place each animated clip over its matching line, and adjust clip speed up or down, watch the waveform to sync every beat of the visuals with the voice, exactly as laid out in the script. Align the line text to the right clip, lock it in, and move to the next. As you can see, stopping to explain each step adds time, but once you repeat this a few times, the process becomes very fast. In very little time, you'll get results at the level you're seeing here. The night feels dead, yet something moves beneath the city's silence. People flee, not from danger ahead, but from something behind them. The world isn't empty, it's paused, like someone hit stop. Calls come from nowhere, as if the city itself wants to speak. Far from shore, a fire wakes the ocean, warning us it has begun. Then the lights die all at once, and we finally see the truth. A final message crackles through the static. Do not follow the lights. I hope you enjoyed the video. As promised, I'm leaving a way to get PDFs I personally created with the best free AI's top tricks, tips, and secrets so you never fall behind in the AI world. You can grab them in our Discord. Send our bot a screenshot showing you liked the video, subscribed, left a positive comment, and watched this video to the end, and it will automatically send you the PDF. We have this active for most videos on the channel, and there's one PDF per video, so you can watch each one, stay up to date on the latest AI news, and collect a free PDF with extra info. All details, links to today's tools, and the prompts are in our Discord. We're building the perfect AI community, so no one falls for AI scams again, and everyone can use these tools the right way. Thanks for watching.